He is the new voice of talk radio, Alexander Danilov. My guest tonight is somebody I've talked about on the show, and my guests have talked about on the show for uh, the last few weeks. He is Randy Schreiber, a.k.a. Pro Trader Mouse, um, in the Mojo Trading Room. Uh, he has been very successful in so many different endeavors that he's been involved in and somehow has managed to fight, claw, and uh, hustle his way to becoming America's newest millionaire trader, uh, which I think is uh, truly remarkable, um, in, in, especially in today's world where you're fighting with so much more uh, big money and uh, bigger losses and faster-moving uh, uh, markets. So, Randy, thank you so much for coming on. Tonight. Alex, thanks for the wonderful uh, introduction. I greatly appreciate it. So I, uh, I sat back and I said, well, I've got to do something. I got into real estate. One thing would lead to another, which would lead to another, and eventually I was actually a real estate developer, building speculator, hard money lender, riding the world of happy success until 2008, where everything come to a screaming crash, unbelievable halt. But it took me a number of years to dig out from the real estate crash. And my wife sat down, slapped me upside the head, and said, you've got to do something with your life because doing what you're doing now isn't going to cut it. So I sat there and I said, all right, I'm going to take a cash advance because all my money was still tied up in real estate and the banks weren't lending money against real estate holdings. Once a credit card, of which I had four of them, and I borrowed $20,000 cash advance off each credit card, put that into a trading account, and with my eyes open, and my brain closed, I started the day trade. That's scary. Obviously, trading itself, um, for those that haven't traded before, intraday traded is also uh, known as day trading, swing trading, options trading, whatever it is. Try to do it for an hour, two hours, three hours. It's very intimidating. Now, imagine the scenario that, that Randy just put us in where really his, his whole life and his future was dependent on this move, taking the cash advance, which so many of us have never even dreamed of doing to pursue something, to create a life that was um, that was more desirable. And, Randy, I give you a lot of credit for doing that. But I would like to focus on what was going through your mind at that time. It was the fight-or-flight mentality, obviously. We go back to um, psychology class many years ago when we were in that class. It's not that simple. There's so many people that think they're going to quit the 9 to 5. They're going to be a day trader. They're going to go trade penny stocks. And they read this stuff in the news. You see the stuff in the Internet and they see dollar signs. The reality is you don't need a degree. You don't need a college professor to help you. You need a good mentor. You need a good day trading room, which you can jump into and watch and follow. Uh, recently, not too long ago, I was able to be introduced to uh, Mojo Day Trading. Uh, I call the room Moj, Mojo's Day Trading. And... What sets him apart from a lot of rooms or even trying just to trade by yourself is he'll call alerts. He says, I'm, bu I'm watching this. I'm buying this. I bought this. Now we're getting to a level we can sell this. And it's not someone like an analyst saying, go buy QIHU, which was – Given my stock alert by Bart uh, by uh, by Barclay last week, stock was at ninety two dollars and fifty cents, and they gave it a hundred and forty five dollar price target. Well, it closed Friday at eighty seven fifty. You know, okay. analysts are paid to give opinions. Okay. Their opinions are generally wrong. That's incredible because so many people do think that it's a quick, you know, all i got to do is make one or two trades, and they heard those quote-unquote stories. Um, I, that, that's what they are a lot of times, stories, fables, because there are very few people that did that one, two trades that um, those uh, biotechs that ripped quickly went from uh, penny stock status to pretty much like a Tesla type of story where it was almost pretty much a penny stock. It was in single digits, and all of a sudden it's a $250 name, an issue, and some very few people, if any, held mostly institutionals, but definitely not an individual trader because there's so much going on um, day to day uh, with those kind of stocks. And those stories where people just made a tremendous fortune of trading one or two stocks, you could have chased that forever. You'll go broke more times than you'll ever make. Um, and it's, that's really one of those things. That's why you have to know not just how the markets work, which are important. You have to know what suits you, which is very important, Randy, and correct me if I'm wrong there, 
but you also have to know that what triggers a certain emotion or a certain click, um, because that's what we're doing now is clicking to make the trade, what triggers you to do that? What triggers you to sit on your hands? What triggers you to sit, sit back and go and say, I'm done for today? I'm going to go as Mike, uh, founder of Mojo, or Moj, uh, does and Mojo. says, I'm done. Yeah, the Moj. He, uh, he quits, he shuts down the room, or he lets people uh, hang out in there if they like, but he's gone. So I'd like for you to speak about that part in the day-to-day grind and hustle because there is no one magic silver bullet formula that you or I can get rich tomorrow on, but over time, and you're obviously a great example of that, to be made if you do it smartly and, more importantly, slowly. Exactly. exactly. Very well put, Alex. Um, Thank you. Kind of, kind of succinctly put, the key to successful trading would be what? Dot, dot, dot. The key to successful trading. Well, as I've learned and now I've been become keenly aware after trading with uh, Mojo's day trading for the last nine months, is number one, trade with your eyes, not your brain. You're watching that stock. You got two eyes. You got one mouth. You got to watch that stock. Next is you're training with the volume. As long as that you've got the volume, the volume becomes your friend. Trade the trend. Trade the volume. The moment that volume begins to, to dry, you're scaling out with your profits. Because at the end of the day, this is, or as I've found, and I've, I've been forcing myself to break my German work ethic, been forcing myself to do one thing, and that is, if you make a profit, you can't go broke. The Moj is very good at that. He makes his money, guys, I'm shutting the room down. What's he saying? If you make a profit, you can't go broke. If you continue to trade, you continue to risk. If you continue to risk, now you might lose your profits. Don't do that. And he's taught that in Mojo University, which I paid for, I think it's the only thing I've ever paid for when it comes to stock stuff or stock related over the last four years. I paid for Mojo University and knock on wood, it's paid huge dividends. Mm-hmm. Well, I mentioned the tremendous success that you've had. And once again, I am speaking with Randy Schreiber, who is America's newest uh, millionaire trader. Um, he has um, been very successful doing a lot of other things, so he's been able to accumulate wealth, but more importantly, been able to um, accumulate understanding, knowledge, um, and education and experience, which he's able, uh, he was able to roll into or parlay into uh, what's becoming a very successful and obviously um, a bright trading career. Go ahead. Yeah, in, in, in the room, one thing that Moj has, has done, and he does it, Brilliantly, and I apologize if I'm interrupting you, Alex. Uh, no, he does it brilliantly, better than any room that I've ever sat in or watched or listened to. And that is, he he plays this term called a magic number. Magic mm-hmm. number is a stock might be approaching a whole number: eight dollars a share, nine dollars a share, fifty-five dollars a share. And he sees that. And in our journals, we've written down, you know a million times that this stock, when it goes up to that level, nine times out of ten, it's going to go through it. And we trade through the magic numbers many times. And if a trader, a learning and aspiring to be trader, does scans and looks for stocks that are, that are at, you know, 795 and you scale into that to break, the magic number of eight, and then they're finish, finishing scaling out at 807, and he does that three times a day. At the end of the year, he'll be making $150,000, $200,000 a year just by doing one simple type of trade. And the best thing that uh, Mojo's room does is really identifies those trades and maximizes those trades like no other room I've ever witnessed. Yeah, and that's uh, that's actually another thing that I um, I started figuring out towards the end. When stocks reach round numbers, um, if there's a little bit of momentum behind it, it'll push through or it'll burst very quickly. It's one of those. What's the difference between 39.99 or 40.01 for a stock? It means nothing. It's a two cent difference. But psychologically, just like the 2000 number of uh, S&P that we hit last week, and we're trying to hit 
a few weeks back, and everybody's going crazy over it, and all of 2000, you know, a lot of times when a stock hits that number, especially if it's an index, you see um, a retracement, meaning that it'll come down a little bit because psychologically people don't think they're ready for it. It's like when you get in, you start driving for the first time, you see yourself doing 60 on the highway. You're supposed to do 60, but you see that like, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, let me slow down a little bit. Then you go to 57, 58, 59, bam, you're at 65. <laughs> then you start hitting 70, 80. We all know that feeling. It's just something we have because we have to learn it. But that is a very uh, important move. You call it the magic number. Um, there's also uh, what uh, Mike calls it as the Heinz play. And you mentioned Mojo University before. Um, Mojo University is actually starting tomorrow night uh, for people. Um, they can find out from um, uh, uh, mojodaytrading.com. I have a link from my site, solutionsology.com. They can find out more about that um, if they so wish, and I hope they do because there are so many people that have made um, made great money doing it because they they follow the system that works. Um, and, again, not trying to make it sound like an infomercial, but I've made on it. I've watched it. Um, I know my audience trusts me. So I've actually gone in there. I risked my own capital following Mike. And there were a couple of uh, stocks that I lost money on, but only because I didn't follow when he said to get out. I felt I could make another two, three cents, which is my sheepishness and stupidness, stupidity because I wasn't <laughs> following the system that works. It's a lack of discipline. That's really what it comes down to. But if I had followed him in all those, I would have been on um, probably 15 or 16 um, straight winning streak over the last week and a half, which is very impressive. And you do it safely, and I think that's very important. But before that, before I, I want anyone risking their own capital mojo, I'd like for him to check out what he's all about. i like for him to learn more about investing, even if it's not through, uh, through Mike and the mojo, but I know the mojo system works. Um, and you mentioned that you've been through a lot of chat rooms. There's not a lot of good ones out there. The ones that are good, you have to try to find them. Those are diamond and the rough types of things. So, again, that's why I'm so happy that I was able to bring you on. I was so happy I was able to bring Alan on. So happy I met Mike because, to me, Randy, education is the number one thing, and every day I learn more while I'm in that chat room, while I'm doing my observations and finding out who's doing what, how they're doing it, uh, when to get in, when to get out, and why, which is the most important thing. He does explain that, um, and I think that's very important. So, Randy, I, w I appreciate you coming on again. R really, congratulations from uh, from everybody uh, on my side here on the tremendous success you've had, not just in trading, but also in everything else you've gotten your hands on. Uh, truly a testament to your, your hustle, your drive. Um, very rare, obviously. Um, but, again, congratulations on becoming America's newest million-dollar trader. And um, I know you're not going to stop there, so obviously the sky is no longer the limit uh, in today's world. So we uh, wish you nothing but the best of luck trading, and I'll continue uh, to speak with you not only in the chat room, um, but outside of. I appreciate it, Alex. Thanks Very so nice. much for coming on, Randy. Thanks again. Have Thanks yourself a good week. Thanks much. You as well.